To the example of Inuk Durak in its new 2017 master plan, we propose to present current village planning practices and constraints in Nunavik. From the angle of design research, we ask, are there alternatives? The work we are presenting suggests to think outside the box by testing alternative design strategies inspired by the aspirations of Inuk Duak Newt, the work of collaborative design studios conducted at Ingasaval School of Architecture, and also examples from elsewhere in the world. Located along the Hudson Bay Coast Line, Inukjuak is the third largest village in Nunavik, with a population of 1,757 persons in 2016. As our project started, Inukjuak's Municipal Council was close to approve the final version of its new master plan after a round of public consultations. The 2017 master plan identifies potential development areas based on cell types, permafrost and construction methods. However, the master plan raises a few questions. What would this development strategy look like? Where exactly will they take place? And how will they fit with the residents' expectations and identity? In order to collect data and validate a few hypotheses, a design team from Université Laval went to Inujuak in March 2017. After validation with community members, this collection of ideas and strategies could provide further information in the decision-making process of Nunavik village planning. To deepen our understanding of Nunavik actual planning practices, we continue to illustrate and analyze different issues like the impressive amount of actors involved in the planning process, standard construction methods due to soil type, and distribution of services. Our principal hypothesis is to add some other parameters to the decision process, for example, the potential of outdated and unused buildings, proximity of services and shops, walking distance and walker experience. Considering all those issues, actual and proposed one, four design strategies are presented as alternative to current planning practices. It goes as preserving natural areas, offering variety in uses, making meeting places, and consolidating the center. Strategies are put into form and illustrated as possibilities for the consolidation of the village. Here is the illustration of possibility concerning the strategy about the village center consolidation. It explores how vacant sites could be optimized without requiring invasive construction methods. The goal is to develop strategic sector of the village in order to benefit from close relationships within buildings while maintaining the privacy and security of the occupants. All of this work is collected on a website for possible consultation by Inuit partners and researchers. Finally, we understand that the planning process which occurs in Nunavik these days is quite complex, technical and still remote for many citizens and even for local actors that are invested in the process. Our design research work proposed to highlight with broad strokes some concerns of local population and important planning issues. As you probably guess, many cultural and political issues remain puzzling from our southern point of view. The design strategies presented in our work are intended not to upset actual Inuit practices, but to question them by provoking some exchange and discussion that cannot be held in the actual administrative and political context. Most importantly, it modestly aims to contribute to an evolution of practices that has more consideration of Inuit's ingenuity, participation and aspirations. <laughs>